and uh, and and then you start setting those parameters and say, I want to be close to a national park. I want to I want wildlife. I want water. All of a sudden, that market is just like how many ranchers are actually there in this large landscape with lots of water, lots of wildlife, and then within an hour and 15 minutes of Jackson Hole in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. And pine coffee. Pine coffee. <laughs> well, on top of it, you, you sit here and look at it. <laughs> on the length of this ranch, too, heading to the yeah. Wyoming range, and you're looking at the, the water that provides the the snow that provides the water yeah. for this ranch. Oh, absolutely. It's or the, the headwaters. It's, it's a direct correlation of these are the snows that create the Green River and the Colorado River and Lake Mead and Lake Powell that deliver the necessary water for almond trees in Southern California or Central Valley and for LA, Phoenix, San Diego. Like it starts here with snow. Without this county road, we would be going five miles an hour right. going through these little, you oh, know. Totally. Like we would we would not even consider traveling up no. the ranch if there was county road wasn't here. And this county road is here because of oil and gas. Yeah. Uh, because of energy. Ener the energy of Wyoming. Uh, it creates the revenue that makes the state um, what it is in terms of infrastructure and you know, state income tax and all that. Wildlife. I was just going to ask, are all the fences on the ranch wildlife? Friendly? So there's 200 miles of fence, and I have rebuilt 35 miles. I did I not we were driving, and I was like, five <laughs> miles. <laughs> we were driving, and I was like, Max, this is a wildlife friendly fence. This is really good fence. It's not like our <laughs> shitty fence. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so here, we're, we went from the wire mm -hmm. to the top. Well, yeah, this yeah. is because you know, there's a double gate here that sometimes gets open because there's a valley. Yeah. Oh, so you we've have got room top for animals to scurry under. Yeah, and moose to drag their stomachs over the top of their fence because <laughs> that's how they like to travel over a fence. They just kind of like drag their hind end over. I'm yeah. getting that way. <laughs> what? Do you have any stage grouse out here? No. Are you yeah. just saying? Okay, I was yeah. like, yeah. is that like no? We're, we we we're, we're ground zero. Okay, okay. That's, this is ground zero. Like okay, the largest like black. colorful things on top of the... That's for sage grass. So they can see it. So wait, there's a black on the property? I won't... The I won't largest black in Wyoming. Yep. Yeah. yeah, just hay and here links. So we're not worried. We're, we're stalkers, not producers. Okay. Great. Okay, it's going to get bumpy for a second, everybody. What is it going to time to be in the cattle industry? Yeah. What what I'm what I'm what I like is the fact that it's going to push people into local producers more, yeah. and that I think there's going to be a lot more local processing, yeah. uh, kind of showing up. Approved, yeah, and uh, yeah, like right now, if you wanted if Freddie wanted to sell meat directly, like at Ovos at their meat market, he would have to process the meat in a very in a specific sort of in a USDA plant. certified yeah. plant. Or a small producer, but getting them getting certified is really hard. And, and there's one over in Utah, but but even but they're packed. Like I, I can't even get an appointment for months. But if they relax their regulations, you could get meat processed at plants that don't have to do with all the 